is the chest that I purchased from the Goodwill. It was a while back. I want to say this thing was like seven dollars and something but anyway I just use it to put my shoes in but I'm thinking that it's time for a makeover you know what I mean a complete makeover so here are some of the items that I'll be using you got your staples over there some thread but I think that's gonna be too small you got your needles decorative needles and these jewels that I have purchased from a long time ago as well a hammer scissors and the heavy duty stapler and of course i got this grab and go fabric from walmart it was five dollars for five yards which is not bad so i guess i'm about to get to this and then else but to do it you know what i'm saying so yeah i have to come back to let y'all know please be careful see what i did yeah i need myself real good yeah, the hammer did not help. Um, they used like little short nail studs for it. So I had to end up using a blade to kind of cut it because it just wasn't going to do what the hammer I was going to injure myself. So I couldn't keep doing that. Um, right here, you see where they have the latch to the little chest or whatever, how you open it. Whatever you want to call it. I guess I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. But anyway, I eventually got the fabric off of there. And I just have like some, uh, it has some foam, two pieces of foam on it for the cushion or whatever. So I decided, hey, I'm going to reuse those because I didn't get no cushion. I just got the fabric and of course the little diamond. So you know what I mean. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue to keep pulling those little strings from the nails that were stuck on there. So I'm about to speed this part up a little bit because, yeah, I'm just about to speed up. Hey, Lila, how you doing over there? Um, yeah, but that's, I'm just about to speed this up, okay? I've measured off some of the fabric and I've cut it. I'm just going to do the front part of the chest and the sides. And I'm going to uh, start securing uh, the bottom part first. So that way I can pull it and stretch it and make it tight around the front and the sides with the stapler. With the staple gun. So I'm going to go on and get to that and I'll come back at you guys in a little while. Now that I've secu secured the bottom part of the chest, I'm going to do the same thing for the inside. I'm just going to make sure that I pull that fabric real tight to get any creases and any loose fabric. I'm just pulling it real, real tight. And I'm just going to keep continuing to do that around the side and the front. Now that I have finished doing the front and the sides, and I also went on and did the back as well. Um, I used those two pieces of foam I put them back on and I actually cut out like little uh, star shapes 
into the top part of the foam so that way the little diamonds can like lay down in them and it can like give it like a little like petal kind of or crease type of look you know where it sinks down in the y'all know what i'm trying to say but um i'm gonna keep on you know and i actually did get some more thread i got some like kind of like rope type of yarn from the general dollar store to make it a little tighter because that little thin thread it just uh, it wouldn't uh the staple up and that little thread it wouldn't have held it the way i wanted it to hold but i'm just going to continue to keep putting those into the top part and as you see i have completed that and i've actually tacked down that one i did take it down and i just pull it real tight and you see how it, it it sinks it in that's that's what i was trying to do that's why i basically cut like the little star shape in there so i'm just going to continue to keep stapling those jewels down and then i'm going to take down the top part of the chair and voila this is what the chest looks like after it's fabulous makeover i actually think i did a great job i did a bomb job look at the diamond sparkling oh it's so cute i like how you can take something that was not so cute and you can make it be whatever you want it to be you just gotta put your mind to it you know what i'm saying but i did a great job oh i did a great job i'm so pleased with uh this makeover and i'm just gonna sit it up under my room window in my room i like that and by the way my room i kind of like got this pink and gray type thing going on right now excuse the clothes i gotta fold them you know how it is but i'm very pleased you know yeah look at the wall i gotta finish painting my room though i don't know stay tuned